Uh, petitions. We have one petition to be presented by Councillor Kitkat. Councillor Kitkat, would you like to come forward? Thank you, Chair. Um, well, I'm here to present a petition on behalf of the Seafront Business Association, many of whose members are here today in the public gallery, and um, they're expressing their concern over the approach the council is taking on rent reviews and patio license fee reviews. Um, and the de depth of feeling is very strong. The petition reads, we the undersigned traders from the Seafront Business Association call on this council to recognize the important contribution we make to the city's attractiveness as a popular tourist destination. We believe that our business, businesses are a key to making the seafront attractive, financially sustainable, and a magnet for visitors who support businesses across the city. The last couple of years have been difficult for seafront businesses due to the poor summer weather, and the recession also makes their immediate future uncertain. The Council's current strategy to aggressively push for rent increases of up to 300% and patio license increases with the use of legal actions and outside consultants does not serve the city or the seafront's long-term future. The costs incurred in trying to negotiate these rent reviews and the legal maneuvers employed by the Council prevents traders from focusing on managing their businesses or selling them as going concerns to others keen to participate in the vibrant seafront trade. We ask the Cabinet to explain its priorities and goals in managing the seafront area and to justify the different treatments seafront licenses receive compared to those elsewhere in our city. So, we call on the Cabinet to recognise that the long-term viability of seafront businesses affects the city's entire tourist economy to agree that rent reviews should only consider the strict seafront value of the unique properties under consideration, not other commercial properties off the seafront, nor should rent reviews take the premiums involved in business sales into account, as these relate to the brand, the goodwill and equipment of a business, not the cost of rent of their premises. And we call on them to the Council to urgently review the processes and tactics used in agreeing rent and patio license increases. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. Um, I just have a few Sorry, comments to make. I've got a petition here with 40 signatures. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor, for presenting that petition. Um, I just would like to state that the Cabinet do appreci appreciate hugely the positive impact of seafront businesses in the city and in the wider tourism economy. The Council has an obligation to implement rent reviews and lease renewals as they fall due, as is the same in the private sector. It, every case is considered on its merit, but we would also, are also conscious of the prevailing economic background. The 300% case you refer to in the petition, Councillor Kitkat, is just one out of over 300 properties along the seafront and this case has a very long, long and complex history. We do recognise that from time to time there are going to be some problems which are, may take longer to resolve and settle, but our officers are always willing to meet and discuss issues with a tenant when this happens. However, the local authority is legally obliged to achieve the best value that it can when undertaking these reviews, bearing in mind also where we are with the economic downturn. This administration continues to make significant investment into our seafront in order to sustain it as a popular visitor and tourist destination. Rents on Brighton and Hove seafront are actually low in comparison to other local authorities. They are not what would be considered market rate and they do need some adjustment, but in line with, with where we are with the economy. Transitional measures can be made in, put in place to support a tenant through the period of moving from the current rent to the negotiated new rent, should that be the, the decision taken, including a payment plan to help clear arrears. With regard to patio licences, they are issued on an annual basis to the traders who wish to, to make use of the areas immediately in front of their properties. The rate of £17 per square metre charge is the same rate across the whole city. 
It has been levied at the same amount for the last two years, so this will be the third year in a row there will be no increase to those rates. We hope to maintain good and fruitful relationships with our seafront businesses, and I hope that I have given some indication and some clarity as regards the Council's position. So thank you for presenting the petition. It will be going to the appropriate members at CMM, where I'm sure we will be able to debate it fully. But I think from an administration's perspective, we have, have always made it clear that we do support small businesses. It is a serious issue, particularly when businesses are struggling at this time and the council is obliged to, to do its duty by its reviews. So there is a lot of sensitivity around it and officers have been instructed to ensure that that is taken into account. So thank you.